Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at division of numbers without a calculator. Now this is a core skill that you are going to need throughout your time studying maths. Doesn't matter what level you're at now or what level you're going to end up at, you need to practice this lots. It comes up all over the place when you least expect it. There are three different levels of question in this video, you can start wherever you like times or in the pinned comment down below and you can move forward at your own pace and you can move backwards at your own pace the really important thing is you practice and get to grips with this if you want more practice questions then there are loads ready and waiting for you over my website for this we are not going to use a column method we are going to use a bus stop method you write down the number you're dividing by first. So the first question, 55 divided by 5, we write down the 5 first. And then we're going to write down the number we're dividing. So dividing the 55. Now this is called the bus stop method because in between these two methods, there is something that vaguely looks like a bus stop, like this. Once we set up our picture, our diagram, our bus stop, Unlike the column method, we're going to work in the opposite way. We are going to start with the largest number on the left with the tens. And then we'll move to right. So the first thing we need to do is look at the fives. How many fives will go into five? That gives me one. And I just put that above the line. Now after the tenth column, we need to move on to the singles. And how many fives go into five? Again, 1, and we write the answer above. So we can see that 55 divided by 5 is 11. Now we can repeat this for question 2. So 84 divided by 4, 4 goes on the outside, 84 goes in the middle. Then we can draw our bus stop, and we can say how many 4s will go into our first digit 8. So how many 4s will go into 8? And that's 2. Then we say how many 4s will go into 4? and that will give us one. Now we have 28 divided by four. So we start with how many fours will go into two, and that is zero. So we're gonna put a zero above the line, and we're gonna carry the two over. Now we need to know how many fours go into 28, and for this we can just go by our four times table. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So that will give us 7 falls going into 28. Now we have 51 divided by 3. 3 on the outside, 51 in the middle, and then our bus stop. So how many 3s will go into 5? That is one whole three and there'll be two left over, so we carry that two. And then we need to ask how many threes go into 21? 21 divided by three is seven. Now we have 36 divided by nine. Write down the nine first, followed by the 36, and then the bus stop around it. We start off with the nines first. So how many nines go into three? That is uh, none of them. So we have to carry the three over. So how many nines will go into 36? So for this, we can go through our nine times table. Nine, 18, 27, 36. And that is the fourth one in our nine times table. So for them, some of these, it's really important that you know your times tables well. This method works much better with larger numbers. It follows exactly the same method. So we're going to start with 102 divided by 6. 6 on the outside, 102 in the middle, and then draw a bus stop around it. So how many 6s will go into 1? Zero sixes go into one, and then we need to carry the one over. So how many sixes will go into 10? There is one, and then there are four left over. Now we need to know how many sixes will go into 42, which gives us seven. 243 divided by three. So we put the three on the outside. 
So there are no threes that can go into two. So we have to carry that two over. Now we're going to be asking how many threes go into 24. That is eight threes exactly. Because if it's exactly, there is nothing to carry over. And then how many threes will go into three? And that is one. 495 divided by nine. The first thing we need to ask is how many nines go into four? And that is zero. So then we carry the four over. And then we're asking, how many nines go into 49? Look at our nine times table. We know that nine times five is 45. So you can put five up there and then carry the four over. And nine will go into 45 five times again. 295 divided by five. Five goes on the outside. Now how many fives will fit into two? Zero. So we carry the two over. How many fives will fit into 29? Five fives go into 25. And then we have four left over, which we can carry over. And then how many fives go into 45? And that is nine. 224 divided by eight. So how many eights will go into two? That is zero, so we need to carry the two over. How many eights go into 22? Eight times two is 16, and then we'll have six to carry over. So how many eights go into 64? And that is eight. Some slightly harder questions now. Same method, but a little bit harder. 888 divided by 11. How many 11s will go into eight? That is zero. And then we have to carry the eight over. How many 11s will go into 88? That gives us eight. And how many 11s will fit into zero? And that gives us zero. 1,275 divided by 15. How many 15s will go into one? That is zero. And carry the one over. So how many 15s will go into 12? Again, that is zero. So now we need to carry the 12 over. Now we need to know how many 15s will fit into 127. Eight 15s are 120 and then we have seven to carry over and then how many 15s will go into 75? Five. 1050 divided by 50. How many 50s will go into one? Zero, carry the one over. How many 50s in 10? Zero and we carry the 10 over. So how many 50s are in 105? That is two and then carry the five over. And how many 50s are in 50? That is one. 348 divided by 12. How many 12s will go into three? Zero, carry the three over. How many 12s will go into 34? Two times 12 is 24, and we will have 10 to carry over. And then how many 12s will go into 108? And going by your 12 times tables, that is 9. 936 divided by 13. How many 13s are going to 9? That is 0, so we need to carry that 9 over. How many 13s are going to 93? We can do 13, 26, 39, 52, 65, 78, 91. So we can see that seven will go in and we have to carry the two. How many 13s go into 26? Two. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too quick.